Does low white blood cells mean cancer? Have you ever wondered if having low white blood cells automatically means you have cancer? Let's break it down. First, white blood cells, or WBCs, are a crucial part of your immune system. They help fight off infections and keep you healthy. A low WBC count can be caused by several factors, not just cancer. One reason for a low WBC count is the cancer itself. If cancer is in your bone marrow, it can interfere with the production of healthy white blood cells. For instance, cancers like leukemia grow in the bone marrow and prevent normal blood cells from developing. Another common reason is cancer treatment. Chemotherapy and radiation therapy can damage your bone marrow, which is responsible for producing blood cells. This damage can lead to a temporary drop in your WBC count. Additionally, if cancer spreads to other parts of your body, including your bone marrow, it can displace healthy cells and reduce blood cell production. So what can you do if you have a low WBC count? It's important to take steps to prevent infections. This includes being careful around pets and animals, practicing safe eating and drinking habits, washing your hands frequently, and avoiding people with symptoms of infection. You should also avoid traveling and crowded public places. If your WBC count is low, you need to be vigilant about signs of infection. These can include fevers, chills, severe nausea, extreme weakness, and redness or swelling around any IV lines. If you experience any of these symptoms, contact your healthcare provider immediately. In terms of diet, while there isn't a specific food that can increase your white blood cell count, eating a balanced diet with good quality protein is important. Protein provides the amino acids your body needs to make new WBCs. It's also advisable to avoid raw or undercooked foods, moldy or expired foods, and unpasteurized beverages to minimize the risk of infection. So to answer the question, having low white blood cells doesn't necessarily mean you have cancer. It could be due to various factors, including cancer treatment or the cancer itself, but it's always best to consult with your healthcare provider to determine the cause and appropriate steps to take.